Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our daily morning devotion. And uh, today I would like to talk to you about uh, removing all bitterness. Uh, we may think that bitterness is just a small matter, getting angry at someone for mistreating you, uh, whatever they've done to you. But uh, the Bible warns us that the root of bitterness, uh, not only it is dangerous, but its lasting consequences that comes after it is so detrimental and it's almost permanent. And so today I want to take from the scripture, uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 12, verse 14 to 15. Okay, it's two verses. I'll read to you. It goes like this. Work at living in peace with everyone and work at living a holy life. For those who are not holy will not see the Lord. Look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. Watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. Now in verse 14, let's go back there again. Say what? Work at living in peace with everyone and work at living a holy life. For those who are not holy will not see the Lord. Uh, firstly, take note that uh, the importance of holiness uh, it also should be important to us not only is it because it is the written in the word but it is also important because it is important to God yeah so not only holiness is a requirement for our current living but also in the life to come it is crucial that if it's not complied here it says what no one will see the Lord wow you might say that it is um, difficult requirement yeah we are human isn't it and it's almost impossible for us to achieve it but wait uh, we will come back to this so now maybe you might ask this question what has it got to do with bitterness what has bitterness got to do with holiness for that matter huh? now the seed of bitterness is a hurt that is planted in someone okay it could be intentional it could be unintentional someone may not mean to hurt you but yet you were being hurt uh, sometimes the hurt also could be only it is imagined uh, it is played in your mind uh, no one was there to hurt you but somehow you feel that someone has done something wrong to you there are also times that when uh, the the hurt may be from uh, chastisement uh, discipline or a lesson that God is helping us to learn from and to grow up. So, now this is what the context is saying, okay? Now, in verse 15, let's go on. You say what? Look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God, which is, watch out for no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. Now, they talk about this bitterness, the soil of bitterness I would like to talk about, okay? Or maybe this ground that can germinate bitterness. What is this? It is a place for our heart, our heart, that harbors hostility and does not deal with that hurt. Okay? Doesn't deal with that hurt by the grace and the forgiveness of God. When someone becomes bitter, the bitterness takes root in their heart and it grows deeper and deeper and deeper. Now, the world also is full of people that maybe they don't deal with their past hurts. All of us have been hurt before, but many people also, they don't deal with their old past hurts. They look for things to criticize, people to find fault with, uh, they find ways to justify the way they feel and their anger. Um, have you seen people who are very hypocritical and they are very fault-finding? Uh, generally, they are bitter people. They know how to push your hot button until you react in a way uh, to further justify their bitterness. Then they can say, aha, see, I was right. Uh, I had the right to become bitter because of this person, what they did. Okay? Now, we all have learned about the seed and the soil of bitterness. Now, let's look at the root and the fruit of bitterness, which is found in this text, okay? Hebrews 12, 14 to 15. Now, the root of bitterness is underground, okay? It is easy to hide 
and uh, camouflage. Uh, seldom we find that a person would like to admit that they are a bitter person, isn't it? They will try to de deny, they will try to dis uh, disguise it. A bitter person usually is hypersensitive, they are ungrateful, insincere, they hold grudges, and they got all sorts of mood swings. Okay? Now, the bitterness, the fruit of bitterness, it will affect the whole body. It affects us physically, emotionally, and also spiritually. Because the fruit of bitterness, it is like an acid. It destroys the whole body. When your heart is bitter, you know, even when, you, when you're talking about with God, your relationship with God, God will not be real to you when you are being bitter. Why? Uh, that's why, uh, coming back to explain it, see, because bitterness and holiness cannot dwell together in the same heart, isn't it? Without holiness, we cannot see the Lord. Now, bitterness is not from God, and as children of God, uh, we must be careful not be, to be associated with in any way with it. Okay. So what are the ways that we can do okay, uh, in order to uh, eradicate, uh, removing all bitterness? Okay. Number one is let God reveal it. Let God reveal it. Some people say that, you know, I know my heart, you know, there's no bitterness in me. Truth of the matter is that most of us, we don't know the condition of our heart, isn't it? Uh, the Word of God tells us that the heart is deceitful above all things and is desperately wicked. Who can know it? That's what Jeremiah says. Yeah, so a deceitful heart cannot diagnose a dis uh, you know, a deceitful heart cannot diagnose a deceitful heart. Cannot. It doesn't work that way, okay? Now, even David was honest enough to ask the Lord, uh, he says what, in Psalms 139, verse 23 to 24, he says what, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me, and know my anxious thoughts. And then 24, he says, Point out anything in me that offends you. You see, we all need to be uh, transparent before God to allow the Holy Spirit to do uh, the surgery, uh, the incision that He needs to do in our heart and to renew us from being stuck from the old past hurts. Secondly, first one was reveal it. Let God reveal it. Second one is let grace heal it. Let grace heal it. Verse 15 says, I look out for after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. Yeah, we know that a response to bitterness is never right huh? with someone who has done something wrong to you. Never. Huh? Two wrongs doesn't make a right. We all need to ask God to forgive us and to allow God's grace to heal us. If someone has wronged you, cut it down and forget it. Huh? Some people say that they can forgive, but they can never forget. But to forget it doesn't mean uh, to have a dementia or to get our memory wiped out. No, it doesn't mean that. But to forget here is to simply move on in life and to move forward to allow God, God's grace to cover those hurts that we have in the past and not to be, uh, allow us to be affected by it anymore. And thirdly, okay, just now the first one was let God reveal it. Second one, let grace heal it. And thirdly, let good replace it. Let good replace it. Uh, he said, work at living in peace with everyone and work at living a holy life for those who are not holy will not see the Lord. Now, you and I cannot be holy unless we work at living in peace with one another. Uh, uh, it is so worth it when we can forgive each other uh, mutually. I forgive and I can be forgiven. Yeah, But if you say, look, look at what they've done. I'm not going to let them off the hook. Well, remember, they are not the ones who are on the hook. We are. When we forgive, we learn to set two people free, and one of them is ourselves, very importantly. Okay? It's true, by our own effort, uh, it's quite difficult, if not impossible, to achieve. Yeah? But with the help of God, the work of the Son, 
God made him right, who had no sin to be sin for us. Jesus, uh, the blame, the anger, the hatred that is placed on him so that we can become the righteousness of God. Let God's goodness and his love override a multitude of sin, especially every root of bitterness that enslaves us. Okay, So that we can live the abundant life and the victorious freedom that God has for us. Amen? So we can live life, uh, the holy life that God has promised us to. And not that only we can see Him, but also we can live with Him forever. Amen? So I hope that uh, with these things, uh, that we must keep in check, that we will remove all bitterness uh, from our life. If not, uh, it will affect our relationship with the Lord. Amen? So I pray that this will bless you. God bless you.